Hello and welcome to 120 Second Reviews, where I share my unqualified opinions on random games in my library. Grand Theft Auto V is the 11th game in the GTA series and the second most successful game to ever be published. Industry titan Rockstar broke multiple records when it was released in 2013 and became the best-selling game within the first 24 hours. In 2015 it was released for PC after console players were nice enough to beta test it for two years. The game was free on the Epic Store for a week in 2020 which gained it a lot of new players. And cheaters with throwaway accounts. The game follows Michael DeSanta, a former bank robber who ratted out his friends to the FIB and has gone depressed from how boring white privilege is. He is one of three protagonists. The other one is Franklin, a wannabe gangster who will be the favorite character of everyone who is nostalgic for GTA San Andreas, and Trevor, a white trash version of Deadpool who is one of the men that Michael betrayed. The three of them get together to rob banks and get tangled in a web of infighting among various secret services. In contrast to the dark and realistic tone of GTA 4, the fifth game is bright, over the top and feels like a modern Hollywood movie set in modern Hollywood. While GTA 4 was heavily inspired by a taxi driver and Scarface, GTA 5 wears its influence, Michael Mann's movie Heat, on its sleeve, even recreating scenes from it. The game was at least six years ahead of its time. So much ahead, in fact, that my laptop could not run it at all when it was released and I powered through half the story on lowest settings with a quarter frame per second. It took a full minute to crash into a lamppost before I upgraded. The general level of detail in the world, animation and mechanics is staggering. GTA 5's main strength is its variety. It's hard to overstate how much you can do. You can race, you can shoot, you can fly, you can fly on cars and you can swim on airplanes. Do all those things in single player until you think you're good at them and then get your eyes annihilated online. Or you can meet your friends for a lovely round of golf in an online session. My favorite parts of the gameplay are the shooting mechanics and versatile cover systems. Though I must admit I prefer the gun inventory from GTA 4 since you could swap weapons easier. DLC bonus round. Since the game does not have DLC, I will dedicate this section to GTA Online. It's a toxic grieving pay to win nightmare. The highest are missions where you have to be four people, so you are likely to have to wait for a random person to join, which usually takes about 20 minutes and then the person leaves after dying the first time and you can't start all over. Every other update in the last few years has brought another expensive way to play the same mission over and over again. There will be a new NPC who will call you every time you log on and coerce you into buying a bunker, hangar, office or some other useless shit for an amount of money you get from two years of grinding, joining a lobby with a hacker or wasting a birthday on a 50 quid pay to win card. GTA 5 is a game that I used to love, learned to hate and have played for more than 500 hours. At least a hundred of which were loading screens. I give it a 10 out of 10 for the single player and a 5 out of 10 for the online mode. If you did not get it for free I recommend buying it for 5 to 10 quid in a sale. Don't ever spend money on the multiplayer if you want GTA 6 to happen one day.